All information about the disease refer to the website 247naturalhealthtricks.com. Surgery for Kidney Stones When Kidney stones are urine deposits, are made up of minerals like calcium or waste products like uric acid. They start small, but then they can grow bigger as more minerals attach to them. Some kidney stones usually go away on their own without treatment. Other stones that cause pain or get stuck in your urinary tract sometimes need surgery to remove them. You have a procedure or surgery to remove kidney stones if the stone is very large and cannot pass by itself. You are very painful. The stone is blocking urine flow from your kidneys. You have a urinary tract infection because of stones. Types of procedures and surgery for kidney stones. The four treatments used to surgery for kidney stones depend on the condition. Shock wave lithotripsy. Ureteroscopy. Percutaneous nephrolithotomy or percutaneous nephrolithotripsy. Open surgery. Here's more about each of these. Surgery for kidney stones with shock wave lithotripsy. SWL is the most common kidney stone treatment. It works best for small or medium stones. It's non-invasive, which means no cuts are made in your skin. During this procedure, you lie on a table. You'll get medicine beforehand to limit any pain or discomfort. The doctor uses an X-ray or ultrasound to find the stone in your kidney. Then, the doctor aims high-energy shock waves at your kidney from the outside. These waves go through your skin and break up the stone into small pieces. The doctor might put a tube called a stent into your ureter, urine flows through this from your kidneys to your bladder. This stent helps the pieces of stone pass. SWL takes about an hour. You'll usually go home on the same day. Afterward, you'll drink lots of water to flush the stone pieces out in your urine. You will have to pee through a strainer to catch pieces of the stone so your doctor can test them. SWL removes kidney stones in about half of people with this disease. When it does not work, you need to repeat the process. The procedure may cause side effects such as cramps or blood in your urine. More serious problems are less likely, but may include Bleeding around the kidneys The infection Kidney damage Stone blocks urine flow Surgery for kidney stones with ureteroscopy. This procedure treats stones in the kidneys and ureters. Your doctor uses a thin, flexible scope to find and remove stones. No cuts are made in your skin. You'll sleep through this procedure. Your doctor will pass the scope through your bladder and ureter into your kidney. Then, the doctor uses a small basket to remove small stones. When the stones are larger, the doctor will pass a laser through the scope to break them up. You usually are able to go home on the same day. The doctor might place a stent in your ureter to help urine drain from your kidney into your bladder. After that, you will go back to the doctor after 4 to 10 days to have the stent taken out. Some stents have a string on the end so you can pull it out yourself. Be sure to carefully follow your doctor's instructions about taking out a stent yourself. Possible problems after a ureteroscopy include Infection Narrowing of the ureter Bleeding How to dissolve and pass your kidney stones pain-free In less than 24 hours from right now, using a safe, natural, home remedy without surgery Link in the description Percutaneous nephrolithotomy or percutaneous nephrolithotripsy When your stone is large or gravel is not enough to break, this surgery is an option PCNL uses a small tube to touch the rock and breaks it with high-frequency sound waves. The doctor will call you, to you stay awake during this surgery. Surgeon will make a small cut on your back or face and place a thin scope into the hole. Surgery can be done in one of two ways. 1. Nephrolithotomy, your surgeon removes stones through a tube. 2. Nephrolithotripsy. Your surgeon uses sound waves or lasers to break rocks and then vacuums with a vacuum cleaner. The surgery takes 20 to 45 minutes. Usually you will have to stay in the hospital for a day or two after that. The stent will have to stay in your kidneys for a few days to help drain urine. Your doctor may do x-rays or an ultrasound a few weeks later. To see if there are any parts of the stones. The doctor can also send the pieces of stone to the lab to find out what they are made of. Risks from this surgery include. Infection. 
Bleeding. Injury to the bladder, bowel, ureter, kidney or liver. Open surgery. Open surgery is rarely done for kidney stones anymore. But when your stone is very large or it cannot be removed or crushed with other treatments, open surgery is an option. Surgery may also help if one of the stones is stuck in your ureter. You're in a lot of pain. The stone is blocking your urine flow. You're bleeding or you have an infection. Your doctor will give you anesthetic injection to help you pass out during surgery. The surgeon will make a cut in your side and into your kidney. Next, we'll remove the stone through the opening. A stent will place in the ureter to help drain urine. You need to stay in the hospital for a few days. It take four to six weeks for a full recovery after open surgery. Make sure you understand the risks and benefits of each of your treatment options. How to dissolve and pass your kidney stones pain-free. In less than 24 hours from right now, using a safe, natural, home remedy without surgery. Link in the description. Thank for watching. Good health.